Oh, but you're- What the? What? 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 What the? Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of The Sims 4 Not So Berry. So in the last episode, the twins and Phoenix, I believed, aged up. So the twins are now teens. This right here is Blossom. So as you can see, we have moved. Like I said, and I think the last episode, not sure. I wanted to move them into Oasis Springs. So I built this little, I guess, Spanish villa. I am no builder. It took me a long time to even get this. So, um, you know, I mean, it's cute, but it's very heavily like CC filled. <laughs> so um, I will upload it to the gallery, but again, like 90% of it's CC, which I apologize for, but I have CC and so I'm going to, um, you know, use it. But yeah, so that was Blossom. And then here is Blush. They're both super, super cute. I don't know who they look like. The only thing I will say about them is this nose that both of them actually have. It comes from Phoenix, as you can see, they have the same nose. But I hate that nose so much. It's like honestly my least favorite nose in The Sims 4, like that preset. And I'm so mad that I have this because I believe Ashton brought it to the family in Gen 3. He was married to Saffron. And then he passed it on to Sterling, who passed it on to Hyacinth, who passed it on to Phoenix, who have now passed it on to both Blossom and Blush. I'm like, girl, can I please get a new nose? Because there's nothing wrong with it. Like, it's fine. But it just irks me for some reason. It's like one of the things in The Sims 4 that just make me so mad for actually no reason at all. But I can't help how I feel. Why are you mean? Why are you being mean to your family? Why? Also, this is... The audio is so loud for me. But I don't think it's that loud in game. Or like for you all. I have no idea, honestly. My settings might be different now. I don't know why they would be, but I feel like they might be. Are you... Oh yeah, you're insane. I forgot. A little freak. But in this episode, I do think that Phoenix will be finishing her career. Because I did get her a mischief to level 10, so we're maxed with that. And then she is now level 6 of handiness. So yeah, I'm hoping that today or tomorrow she gets promoted. And then her other skills that we have to finish for this gen are charisma and baking. Both are level 9, almost level 10. So this episode, we are grinding this out and getting things done. Because I want not this episode, but next episode to be the last one for orange gen. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. This kitchen is so small for all of them, but it's like so... This is my favorite part of the house. I just love all the plants, the colors, everything. It's just so cute. Um, but yeah, that's the kitchen, the little living room. It's actually really small. This house, the layout, is it the best? Probably not, honestly. Layouts I'm not that great with, but I love the like uh, little patio area. Their bedroom's pretty cute. Like the size of it's good for a little master with their ensuite. Downstairs um, is where, you know, kind of the magic happens when it comes to Phoenix's career. We have like this little secret door over here, which is so inconspicuous. And then you come through here. There's security cams, a vault door, which is open. That's not safe. Um, and then we have her little like office, which isn't really all that menacing. Like it looks like just a little, you know, office, like a normal home office. <laughs> But it's down here in this like cold basement with, I don't know, all this like equipment and then this like vault door with all this money. There's 25,000 simoleons in here, which is insane. Yeah. But then upstairs we have, you know, um, a blushes room and then over here is a blossoms and then this is, um, oh my god, names, names, Isaac and Lotuses. I'm really bad at names for some reason. It's been a while since I recorded this, so you know, bear with me a little bit, but also all of the adult Sims got makeovers. So, um, yeah. Okay. Y'all over here making out cute. Um, I love Phoenix's looks because, okay. With Phoenix, I wanted to go with the fact that she is like a wealthy businesswoman or like that's her cover. Cause like I feel her and, um, Drea definitely own like their own company. Um, but from the outside looking in, it seems like a legitimate business venture, but really their corporation is, you know, filled with crime. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, they're evil. But when it comes to blush, I did install the LGBTQIA whatever mod. 
um, by Lumpinu, Lumpinu, something along those lines. I'm not sure. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. Um, but it pretty much lets you like set your sexuality, your preferences. Um, it lets your Sims like um, transition, all that kind of stuff. So currently it says that Blush is attracted to masculine Sims sexually and romantically, but they are questioning their identity. So um, I do want them to eventually, probably this episode actually, kind of like come clean, not come clean, but like come out, I guess, and just say that they are trans. Um, but then I plan on next episode to actually star, maybe if I can, even when they're a teen, um, getting like, you know, um, hormones and stuff like that to really start the transition. But what's broken? Who broke the toilet? Okay, I think Isaac did. So fantastic. Drea is so pretty. I made her more pink related because for whatever reason, I always make my heir's spouse related to like that gen. So, you know, Mint Gen, her husband was like red themed for Rose Gen. Um, so I want to make her more pinky. I don't know why they're all evil in this house for some reason. Their relationship is so bad. How we're engaged by the way, yet what? Literally engage. We're hurt by her. Like, what? This is just... Okay, whatever. Can we go ba... And you're... Oh, yeah. These two hate each other. Look at their relationship, bro. It's awful. These Sims are all so mean. It's strange. But, um, can you come over here? Not whatever you're gonna do. Um, can you come over here and bake? Because we're so close. Maybe make some... I don't know, like, fudge bars or something. What? Who? Who are you? Chase? Chase McCauley? Um, no. Your eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Goodbye. Like, what's the point of having a gate if they can just come in? Leave! Get off my property now, you freak. But also, I have gotten started on Blush's gen, kind of, like, their skills and such. So, um, currently, they're almost level 6 in writing, which... I don't even know how i guess because of school because um i did have them write two books for their aspiration so currently we have written the pink girl in the orange house which alludes to that being blush um growing up and then made me blush which is a poetry and then the first one is a children's book <gasps> wait they're going to work yes the phoenix i might get a promotion i'm so excited are y'all who's fighting maybe no one it just sounds so violent in this house all the time Oh, a little swiper too. I think I aged a swiper down off camera. I'm not sure. Actually, it could have been on camera. <gasps> oh my god, level 10 baking. Yes. Lava, lava bunt cake and cow plant essence meringue pie. Oh, interesting. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, and then let's go ahead and I guess do our charisma if we can. Here. Um, can you just come in here and practice your speech? Please and thank you, Miss Phoenix. I mean, I might just leave, because honestly, what's better, the promotion or the skill? Promotion, actually. No, go to work. Go on, Gil. The, the boots! The boots! What is up with these, bro? They, like, clipped with the pants, huh? And your hair! What happened, honey? <laughs> God, I don't understand. But yes, please, work hard. Thank you. And can you all just, like, go work on some stuff? Like... Here, you have to write five good books so come on upstairs and come sit down and then let's go write a genre book um let's do a i mean we could do a playful book what festering bitterness a blossom really cannot stand being around a sim she has a grudge against i bet it's isaac <laughs> i bet it's isaac what set the no we are not that formal okay no even though we literally have like a formal dining. It's not really. I mean, I guess it is a formal dining room, but like it doesn't feel very formal. That's the thing, though, is like this house is like a really nice villa and everything, but then inside, it's not that like luxurious or big or anything. I don't know. Whoa. <gasps> Wait, hold on. A one woman job. Drea occasionally daydreams about pulling off the ultimate heist and retiring once and for all. Today, she just may have the opportunity to do so. It's an unusually foggy day in Bridgeport. <gasps> not them mentioning Miss Bridgeport, but like, where is she in the game though? Like, I know I'm not traveling to Sims 3. Anyway, and Drea's crime organization happens to know the precise timing and route 
the land grab industry's armored truck takes on its daily trip to the bank. She quickly hatches a plan to parachute onto the roof of the truck, hijack it, and escape under the cover of the fog. There's no telling how much money the truck actually holds. Does Dre attempt the daring heist or stick to a low risk life of petty crime? Um, considering this is Drea and not Phoenix, I think that Drea definitely would do this. Even though I, I did say that like Drea is the brains, I think that now that, you know, Phoenix is about to be promoted and everything and like really be top dog and like the actual boss crime lord, I think that Drea can help from a distance by not like actually working for Phoenix, but just like give her advice and such as just her wife. Um, so I'm gonna have her hijack the truck just, just to see what happens. Uh, oh wait, 4.5. I feel like it should have been a lot more. Dre is currently at work or but no, stay at work. Oh no, wait, she is home. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, so can I actually like, you know, stay working or what? Apparently not. Okay, we quit. Um, Dre executes a perfect halo jump. Hal halo? Halo, I'm assuming. Like the game? Question mark? I don't know. And lands on the roof of the truck. She quickly subdues the armored guards and leaves them on the side of the road, along with her signature criminal calling card. Oh my god, purr. After vanishing into the fog, a deposit to her offshore account and is La Paradiso wrapped up any loose ends? Are you joking? The fact that they're literally like talking about all these Sims 3 worlds but then, but then like they're not in the game makes me so sad. What is this? Cheese shipment smells funny? Huh? I don't know, girl. Just serve it. I don't care. Oh, level 7 writing. I don't understand. Wait. They were... Huh? They were literally just... How is it going up so fast? It's already a 6% through. 7? How? What traits do you have? I only have fast internet. Like, nothing for creativity. Oh, they are creative. And a bookworm. Is that why? Oh, there we go. Blush is done with their book. Oh, new milestone from life event. Bl oh, wait. Yes. I literally got like a memory system thing. How do I access that? I don't know, bro. Wait. I got... Oh, yeah. Open the memory panel thing. <gasps> Adopted a pet? No, we didn't. I'm really confused. Lost your grandparent. We did do that. Um, Miss Sterling died. Oh, wait. Is that what they're talking about? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't understand. But the fact that it has these in there before I even did the... Or not did. But before I even got this mod. Like, what? This mod's also by the Lumpino person. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, they make amazing mods. Like, I have pretty much... Not all of them, I don't think. But, like, a good bit. <gasps> Wait! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We literally... That scared me. I was literally out here watching drea jog around with um swiper and then i was looking at the sky because i was like wait are there any stars oh wait now there are stars what there there literally weren't stars in the sky before but now there is like what which i think the stars are different in my game because i got like some new like lighting mods and like graphics and stuff um so my clouds look different too which I think I'm going to do a video on what I use because I also have like a different reshade or g-shade and everything too. And then like a bunch of lighting stuff and everything. So I might do a video soon on what I use to make my game look like this. But um, we finished her career suave criminal. I've never done this before. Promoted to the boss. She makes $4.89 per hour. <gasps> oh my god. I'm so excited. We swapped. We swapped. <laughs> we swapped. We swiped something. Um, we swiped something. Girl, now is not the time. No, stop. Oh, yeah, wait. But, Phoenix, come down here and go practice your speech, please. 100. Yes! We did it. Oh, my God. And so, with that, I'm pretty sure that, th that this gen's complete, right? Master Baking Charisma. Um, this is done. Um, Career is done. Which means that we're officially done with Orange Gen. <gasps> oh, my God, y'all. That is so crazy. I'm so happy. However, this is not the final episode of Orange Gen because next episode I want to have everyone get married. I don't know if I want Phoenix and Dre to get married. Like, I kind of do. I don't know. Do you think that these Sims would even get married? Let me know. Like, I kind of want them to, but at the same time, 
for some reason, I kind of see um, Lotus and Isaac's relationship ending in divorce if they did get married. And, and even if they don't get married, I see it failing. I don't know why. I just feel like Isaac would probably cheat on Lotus. I don't know. I think that now that he's like an adult officially, there's just something about him that's like not sitting right with me. I think it's the mustache. <laughs> I think the mustache changed him and he's like now an asshole for some reason. That's just like the vibe I get. Oh, my baby's cuddling. They're so freaking cute. Oh, wait, what the? What? 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 What the? <laughs> uh -huh. So good. What? I kind of want Blush to, I don't know, like come over here and just talk to their sister. Um, identity. I kind of want them to... Oh, they can't use this interaction on family and established partners. Wait, why though? Like, I'm not, like, I'm not out, babe. I'm not out. I mean, I feel like everyone knows. Well, not really. I don't know. Oh, reveal. <gasps> yes, reveal, reveal, reveal. Hey, I've got something important to tell you. We're family and that means that there shouldn't be big secrets between us. That means I should feel safe to tell you. Keep listening, guys. I'm not cisgender. Keep listening. I'm trans. I'm a woman. Yes! Keep listening. Please say something. It's okay. I've suspected for a while. I support you no matter what. <gasps> I really want to say I support you, but at the same time, I feel like she would absolutely say, it's okay. Like, I like kind of knew. But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of rude though. But she's kind of tone deaf. That's the thing is like, I really think that Blossom is tone deaf and a little bit insensitive to people so like just if i wanted to do it out of you know her character then absolutely the second option because I, I think i want to save this for um their parents so i'm gonna do this one it's okay i like kind of new so are they not done no they're not she's like oh, it's okay like you're my sister like it's totally good <gasps> yay i'm glad you told me i support you ah! I'm so excited. Send all alone. Yeah, I don't want to go. But wait, are, are they going to hug? Hold on. Are they going to uh -huh. hug? Oh my god. Yes. She's like, it's okay. Like, you're my sissy. I support you. <gasps> my babies. Oh, I love no. them so uh -huh, freaking much. Oh, they're hugging again. They went in for round two. Okay. Go ahead and go. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I don't really want them to be at school though, honestly. Like, I kind of want them to come home. Okay, Blush, go ahead and tell your Padre as well. Can we? Oh yeah, we can. <gasps> tell about successful coming out. No, we still need to reveal our identity to, um, you know, to uh, our Padre and our Madre. So go do that, please. Yes, keep listening. Keep listening. Keep listening. I support you no matter what. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Oh my god, look. She's so relieved. Oh, I'm glad you told me. Oh my god, $9,000 in bills. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's too much. Okay. And now he's like, um, so why are you not at school? <laughs> so, um, about those grades. Madre, I know you're really hungry, but I have something to tell you. Um, here goes. Yeah, I support you no matter what, of course. Okay, so what else can we do? Oh, wait, medical. Yeah, we can do that. Have top surgery implant. <gasps> wait, I'm so excited. Yes. And then we can't do um, bottom surgery, but we can go do the. <gasps> Ooh, decide on affirming pronouns. Decide on a new name. Decide to wear. <gasps> oh, my God, we can wear breast forms. Yes, let's do that. Wait, yeah, that's this girl. I'm getting so flustered because I'm so excited. Like this mod is so good. Outfits. Oh, there we go. Put on breast forms. What does that look like? Oh my god. Wait, look. Now they have on um a bra. Okay, cutie. She got them titties going on. Um. Okay. Uh, I need to. Well, not need to, but I want to go look in here as well. Um, non medical. I don't know. Can we go to like walk style training maybe? <gasps> oh my god. It's solstice. Y'all. Okay, so she's pregnant. Holy. 
Okay, that just reminded me that I gotta do this. <laughs> I forgot, literally, it's so bad. But this is Solstice, so she now lives in Oasis Springs. Um, if y'all don't know or don't really remember, Solstice is a Phoenix's twin sister who got taken away by social services. Um, she got adopted by the Greenberg household and they lived in, uh, I believe, Evergreen Harbor. But she has now since moved to Oasis Springs for work way back in the day. And she is actually a detective. And so is her husband. That's how they met. Um, they live in, like I said, Oasis Springs. She has a daughter named Yasmin who looks nothing really like her. She looks like her dad, I think, more. But um, her husband's name is Arette. And they're so cute. He's very attractive. Um, and yeah, she's pregnant with, I think, a boy. But I forgot that technically I was supposed to have Drea look into um, Solstice for Phoenix because Phoenix has always been too scared to look for her sister. But Drea knows about the whole, you know, situation. So she looked for Solstice, got her info. And I actually want to tell her about like that whole stuff. Their relationship is so <laughs> bad, bro. Like what is going on here? Um, can we go, girl, get out of the water, please now. So I may or may not have found your sister i know where she lives i have her address her full name her name is now solstice hastings which means she's married um so i want to give you this information for you to do with it what you will um i just know that you know you've always had this thing with your sister <gasps> yes i want feminine where's it at feminine walk style yes okay good um but yeah i want to girl why are you so angry Honey, no, I'm getting rid of it because I can't handle it. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. Give her a little embrace. She's like a little bit upset, I feel, that she would do that without telling her but at the same time. Really deep down, she's super happy and she's, you know, actually grateful. It's just, you know, I don't know, a lot to take in at this moment in time. Um, but I think in the next episode, I will go see our sissy. But yeah, I will end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the very next video. So bye, everyone.